He sounds good, but he's hopeless. <laughs> Stephen, how are you all doing? Is the, the excitement there now that you've all joined up and the Euros are just a couple of weeks away? Yeah, no, look, I think um, the excitement's been, been growing and building from beyond the, the Serbia game, obviously, with the World Cup qualifiers in between. But when the squad got announced, it really took a, a to the next level. And then, and then arriving here, the facilities are brilliant. The weather maybe isn't quite as good as uh, what, what we left in Scotland on the on the Thursday, but um, I've been told it's going to pick up. So you'll see me red-faced in a couple of days, no doubt. Uh, but no, look, everything looks perfect and, and, and the squad's together, obviously, a couple short and, and just really excited and, and can't wait. I was going to say that. Do you sense the excitement bubbling through the squad now that, that you know that this is actually this? It's actually time for the Euros and there are no other distractions? Yeah, no, definitely. I think that's um, very noticeable. I, I, look, everybody always, when we join up, certainly since I've been involved, it's, it's always been a good atmosphere and and, and, and enjoy the company of each other. Um, I think the biggest worry for a lot of the boys, and there could be some call-offs, is that they're getting fed up of listening to me already. So, mm. so uh, it's um, everybody's over the moon to be here. They're they're excited, and, and as I said, it's you can kind of feel the the excitement building amongst the players even more so. But um, as I said, we've got a job to do. We've got two friendlies coming up, which are very important to to hopefully, worst case, uh, try out a few things. But um, beyond that, we've obviously got then the the, the competitive game at hand, and we want to go off to a good start. It used to always be the case that there was a couple of guys that drove everybody else nuts in a squad that was around for a while. Who's the BAMs in this squad? I don't know. We call them BAMs. I'd say I talk too much, so <laughs> I think I could be one of them. But um, look, I, I think everybody's um, gets on pretty well. Nobody's nobody's too too irritating. Um, I think we'll, we'll we'll miss Ryan and and uh, so not Kenny and Ollie. The two of them are normally up to something. Um, and, uh, and obviously you'll, you'll miss them as players, but as personalities as well, they'll be missed. But um, but no, look, it'll be interesting. Obviously, we've got the three new boys. It'll be good to see how how they fit in, how their personalities um, come out. And, and it's just, uh, as I said, the excitement. Everybody's looking forward to it. The boys, as I said, nobody, nobody's annoying me yet. So um, that's a good start. Stephen, uh, you, you talk about the new boys coming in. Have you spoken to Nathan Patterson? Obviously, he's going to be a competition for right back. Have you had a chat with him yet? Who? I can't, I'm only kidding. <laughs> no, look, Nathan, he's uh, he's um, today in training. Obviously, I, I've not played Nathan um, with Hello yet, but um, we uh, today in training, you could see he's very comfortable with the ball, um, has plenty of confidence um, with just, just the way he was, was getting on the ball, getting on it um, as if he was a centre mid or something. So, so no, I'll hopefully be able to push him in there. But, <laughs> but no, look, he's uh, he looks like he's settled in well. Um, and obviously he's got John from, from Rangers that I'm sure will help uh, put an arm around his shoulder, but I don't think he'll even need that. More, more, more seriously, though, you, you are the number two going into the tournament. You've got 18 caps of Scotland, could be starting right back in the first ever game. You, you know, do you ever just take a step back and think, it's, it's unbelievable, what moment in my career? Um, yeah, look, I think to, to be... Um, two seconds. I don't know if that's something. Um, I think uh, to obviously be getting the, the, the number two is is, is um, a very proud moment for, for such a momentous occasion, but it doesn't really matter. Come the, the, the first game, you want to make sure you're starting. Um, and if I was able to to cement my place over this 10-day uh, camp and in, um, in the two games, whether that's playing 45 hours, I don't know how the manager is going to play it, if he's wanting to rotate, see different things, but I just hope that my performances in the previous games and then in, in, in this, um, in this uh, camp, I can, can do enough to keep my place. Um, I've said time and time again, I've, I've never been so proud as, as putting on the Scotland top. It's been the, the highlights in my career um, time and time again since I've, I've been getting called up and, and that won't change. And I just hope I can, can maintain it as long as possible. Stephen, what has Steve Clark done for your career over the years? Well, look, he's done loads for, for a start. I was... Oh, when I came in at Kilmarnock, I was a wee bit off the pace. I'd, I'd lost a lot of weight um, on my honeymoon, got a wee bit sick and, and lost about 10 kilo. So I was just getting back to kind of being in the physical condition that I, that I can be in. And he came in and he, he started to maybe give me confidence that I'd maybe lost. Um, and from there, as, as a team at Kilmarnock, we, we went from strength to strength. And, and I was able to, to be part of that. Obviously, to get called up from, from Alec McLeish was, was incredible. And without him and his part in it, I, I wouldn't be here. 
um, he took a took a gamble on me and gave me an opportunity that um, it was publicised was a weaker squad, but there were still some very good players in that team, and and uh, and I was able to. Well, I'm assuming they thought I, I came out okay because I managed to stay in for the the following trip, and and since then it's kind of just been a dream that that has largely had Steve Clark involved in it because obviously from then going from Kilmarnock I continued my, my good form and, and then managed to find myself in Mother linked up with, with Steve Clark again so look he's been been amazing a big catalyst for my career taking a positive turn but um, but again it's um, every manager you have you, you learn from you try and work with and and, and I, I certainly do nothing more than that with, for Steve Clark and, and he's certainly someone I seem to, to react very well with Stephen, you were six when Scotland played at the World Cup last time around. What are your memories of that? Non-existent, <laughs> I'll be honest. I can't remember. We had, uh, we had a conversation with this last night, actually, and, uh, and, and Ross was filling us in that he knew everything about every tournament for the 80s, I think. So it tells you his age, but um, a few years might be the same. But no, um, I, I can't remember too much. Um, I think the, the 2002 World Cup was the first one I started to kind of really remember. I was... I think I was about 10 at the time and you were getting the PlayStation game, you were collecting everything, you were, as I said, you're a boy that loved football, so you were you were just getting involved in, in everything you could. And now it's your name on that PlayStation and on those stickers, how do you feel about that? Look, it's, uh, it's certainly one of the things you sometimes need to, you chuckle at, but it certainly gives you a certain, I don't know if pride, but just kind of a wee bit of enjoyment going, wow, my wee, my wee nephew's picking them up and, and, uh, and my ugly coupons in the front of them, so it's uh, it's, uh, it's 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 now it makes you feel good. But again, that that's irrelevant. We want to go and go and perform well, and we don't want to just be a flash in the pan. We want to try and make this a consistent for Scotland. Um, we've been in the wilderness too long, and we want to make sure that that um, we do well in the tournament. Worst case, good performances, but we're obviously looking to try and get three points at least that will hopefully ensure us in the next round which will hopefully create a wee bit more history. But beyond that, we want to then go again for the World Cup and, uh, and, and push to try and qualify. As I said, I don't want to be the flash in the pan. I don't mean that personally, I mean that collectively. It's been too long. Scotland, for a football nation, has been in the wilderness and we want to try and con continue this success to, to hopefully at least allow 50,000 in at hand and to see us at a major tournament it would be nice. Stephen, this is a new territory for every single player in the squad. <laughs> a big tournament. There's actually no one in the squad that's been through this before. So who do you look to for guidance? Is it Steve Clark, Stephen Reid? Look, I think the, I think you just look around everywhere to get guidance. You've got players playing in Champions League finals. You've got, you've got young Billy Gilmore who's, who's going to experience that. And you've got Scott McDonnell literally just finished the season. So you've got plenty of players throughout the squad that have, have kind of big tournament experience. Nobody with this experience, but that comes a freshness and, a, and, a, and maybe an extra excitement that hopefully we can put into his energy on the pitch and, and show a real desire and a, a hunger to, to put in performances that, that get us the, the end result. As I said, that's unknown uh, territory for the gaffer as well, but um, he doesn't really allow it to look like it is. He stays the same calm, collective um, gaffer that he, that he always has been. How uh, much free time are you getting out there? Is everything scheduled to the last minute? Yeah, look, we've got this app called, I don't know, if it's called Kiros, and and it because your wee diary plan, and it it's, um, there's not too much time. I'm 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 sending it to my missus to make sure she's not uh, trying to check up on me, thinking I'm sunbathing and, and she's at home with the kids. So so no, look, it's um, every moment's accounted for. You've got the best of facilities, you get the best of staff. Um, and I've said time and time again the best of food so there's absolutely no complaints um, just need to make sure we don't overindulge and, and, and stay in as, as peak fitness as we can I wonder if you've had a wee look at the, the squads all the squads are out now for the Euros a wee read through the Czech Republic Croatia, England and maybe looked at who your opponent your individual opponent might be I personally haven't um, I don't know if some of the boys have but I've came away here looking to just focus on on, on myself and to hopefully do everything I can to get get my name on the team sheet for that first game, and I think if when we're closer to that time, you can then start to focus on on obviously the Czech team. But I think we're just, we want to focus short term just now, and um, we get too carried away, or I get too carried away looking at who you could be playing against. There's there's far too many variables to to get bogged up in that kind of thing. Stephen, is it a fine line between trying to savor and enjoy all this build up, and also? not to be overwhelmed and to, to block out a bit of the noise as well? 
Look, I've been overwhelmed for about three years, so I'll get used to it. So it's all right. Um, no, look, I think uh, it, it is certainly different for me. I've said it with the, the media attention, the, the interviews. It's, it's been a new experience for me. Um, and I'm, I think I'm coping all right with that so far. But uh, look, time will tell. Uh, I'm enjoying every minute of it. I think um, the, the squad seems to be as well. So, so there's no complaints at this end. And hopefully... As I said, nothing's too overwhelming that, that we'll see a, a, an impact on our performances. And you spoke there about wanting to get the three points that can get you out of the group. Do you feel this, this squad has the capability to go and do that and become the history makers? Look, at, Yeah, I think you look through the full squad. Um, we lost three important players and brought in three very, very good, young, talented players that are, are, are here to have, have an impression. And I think we have enough quality throughout the squad. Um, to, to achieve greatness in, in regards to qualifying. And I, th I think we can do that. Um, obviously, they've got, you've got three teams that are going to be trying to do the same, um, all with added different pressures for all three of them are relatively regular in major tournaments. So, so um, we'll just go out, we'll do our best. I think, as I said, throughout the squad, we've got enough talent and ability that we can cause any team problems. And if we do our job at the back, then we'll, we'll get opportunities. Last question, folks. Okay. Best of luck. Good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Take care. Take care. Yeah. See you later. Yes. Bye.